So this is the first in a series of new vlogs. We're on our way to Exeter um, to go and get a DJI Osmo for a potential job that we're looking at doing uh, in, well, do you think I can I say the location, do you think? I haven't signed a contract saying I can't say the location, uh, but it's probably best that I don't. We're about to go and do some filming in uh, Ireland, Belgium, and... Yeah, that, that is, uh, that is, that is Belgium, sweetie. And Pisa. So yeah, we're on our way to go and get that now. It's going to be the first time that I'm using the Osmo. I'm also going to include some footage from that in this vlog if we can get it working before the day's up. We've just arrived in Exeter now and we are on our way to the camera shop to go and get the Osmo. Fine, it's not dead yet. Let's get it together. So we just picked up the Osmo now. Um, gonna go and grab a bite to eat and then we're heading back into uh, back to town. Okay guys, I'm now back from Exeter. Unfortunately for me, my camera died while I was out there. I ran out of battery. Uh, but we've done, a, we've done a whole bunch of shopping. Um, I've access, successfully acquired my new Osmo. Um, I will be doing a video tutorial uh, and unboxing for this, um, which I will leave in the description of this video for you guys to check out if you're interested in this kind of thing. It's gonna be a great new piece of filmmaking equipment in my arsenal. I'm really looking forward to getting out there and using it. And I'm gonna get some really cool and creative shots. Um, I'm gonna be quite interested as well to see how it does um, uh, in, in environments. You know, like with, with the Osmo, um, it's almost as good as a Ronin. The issue is obviously that you've got a certain element of it where it's only three axis and not four axis, which means you're still gonna to have to have what's called the ninja walk. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully that's not gonna to be too much of an issue and we should still be able to get some great material. Yeah. 